after my present car deal, I should be changing the EV car and follow the trend. I'm Ricky, I'm retired, so I've been driving almost three decades. I ferry my children from school and now to work till now. I'm still ferrying them for errands, so that's my routine life. I'm here because I'm given the opportunity to try the iX3 EV car. Drive it and feel it and see how I personally feel it. There's a gear change, is it? Yeah, it no, this one, yeah, this one no gear change, this one just move like this. Because the traditional one is the, the convention top, the gear change, uh, you, you RPM go down and up and down. Yeah. To be very frank to you, this is the very first time I tried an EV car. I don't know whether the car is, is, is still on. So you can actually turn on this thing called Iconic Sounds. So it actually gives you like a bit of an audio track. So it's uh, produced together with Hans Zimmer. It makes you feel like you're in a sci-fi movie. <laughs> uh, just, just like I'm going to uh, Universal Studio. So when I get into this EV car, it's, it's the same feeling because it's a BM cockpit that I love. I've been driving the BM for the past 35 years. So when I get it, it's very familiar to me. It's the only thing that is running on electric and not petrol. It responds to me very fast because once it comes, it goes with this. That's the feel that I get from this car. It's, it's as per normal. I'm looking forward for EV car. Because the infrastructure is coming out, everybody is going electric and less carbon footprint. So at our age, we need to move forward rather than stay stationary there. And but the thing that I'm worried is that how am I going to adapt it? If this petrol tank went to less than one quarter, I'll be worried. Yep. So if this battery goes to one quarter, I'll be looking for charging point in the island to charge. I do have worries as most of the people have in the sense that the infrastructure is not fully up there. So we are worried that what happens, the battery run low and then we're caught in a jam. And where should we get all the charging coming in? I need to correct my habit of driving when I drive this car in the sense that I need to plan my, my trip. So it's a good thing. We are helping and then reducing carbon footprint and then we are having a good habit of not wasting much time. So it should be a positive thing to, to move forward. It's a nice drive. The more you drive it, huh, the more you enjoy it. I'm going green in general, actually, it's not only us, myself alone. It's a whole global thing. As being a senior myself, like, we have to move forward. It's a matter of time. We need not to be fast or need not to be slow. At least you're moving. If we are so negative that we want to stay stationary, then the thing won't work. My brake, nothing. Leg free, hand free, everything free. But now I'm very afraid because it's self self not controlled by me. But did I own the hazard or it's on by, it on by itself? It's on by itself. But this thing only do reverse parking. Parallel parking, what do you do? It's just something that you have to try it and imagine that you're owning it, then you enjoy it. If you don't try it, you're not making a first step out towards the EV. One step forward, move forward. <laughs>